Hello, St. Luke, St. Luke family, our friends, our beloved, our well wishes. This is the day that God has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in the day. This is Pastor T.C. Johnson. We're here at the St. Luke Christian Church in Huntsville, Alabama, where God is with us seeking to save. God want to use you to be a blessing to someone, to reach someone. Someone sent me a, a text and a video of a great preacher out of, uh, I think it's Memphis, Tennessee, um, and he was preaching on this idea of you don't have to be a preacher, but you can be a reacher. That's that's a word right there. Amen. God want to use you to reach someone and, and honor honor him and give him the credit for the touch. Amen. Amen. This is announcement time here at the St. Luke Christian Church. And I want you to know <clears throat> what we're doing and what we will be doing is celebration of men's month. I was got on Facebook some kind of way and saw what you're doing out there. Continue to go on online and celebrate the brothers uh throughout the month let them know that you love them and that you that you that you care so i saw many many um uh, pictures out there of, 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 of people you know you go online and, and help them and, and let people that those who are put those pictures up know um and congratulate those brothers for us celebrating uh, men, it's it's good to see mm, so many wives placing their husbands at the top of that list. Amen. It's always wise, sisters, to uh, to do that to encourage. You're his best cheerleader. Amen. You should be his best uh, his best cheerleader. So we thank God for the announcement period. I want to on on this Saturday, the men will have breakfast at the gym at eight uh, p.m. And there will be a planning meeting. I, I believe there's a planning meeting involved with that for what we're going to be doing going forward. So, brothers, please, please show up with your ideas for what we can do in this environment, what you want to see done in this environment, or what, you know, um, pieces of iron we want to sharpen each other with, what information, what subjects, what you want to see us do uh, for ourselves and do for our families and do uh, for our communities. So that'll be... Uh, this Saturday morning at eight o'clock, breakfast will be served, and we'll have a have a meeting in the gym here at St. Luke. Um, so that's men breakfast this Saturday morning. Sunday will be Men's Day. They're wearing shades of blue uh, at nine thirty. The Re Reverend Reginald Johnson is going to bring the message. Uh, for Men's Day, and I think the Men's Day Choir will um, lead us in worship. Amen. And Reverend Reginald Johnson will bring the word. We haven't asked speakers for a couple of years to come in from out of a town like we normally do. We may resume that uh, next year, uh, start bringing in speakers from uh, other places. That if the environment, if the COVID environment stays um in control we'll 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 think about doing that it's also october october 31st is going to be trunk or treat make it sweet listen um be sure you stop by and get some candy and drop it off in the bins out in the hallway we want to get ready to do what we do by way of celebrating <clears throat> uh, uh, for that period we try to do something to make sure our children are safe um we don't call it Halloween. Uh, we do something a little bit different. Uh, it's going to be our trunk or treat in lieu of Halloween because we understand um, that our children uh, want, want to be a part of that. We were a part of it, so we make a position here, take the position that this is where it can be done and this is where it can be done safely. So families, people bring in candy. Um, any time of day, let us know, uh, bring in candy. We're going to make sure that the stations are filled with candy so our little people can have a pleasant, um, trunk or treat this October. And the candy should be, uh, individually wrapped candy, individually wrapped candy. They don't want candy that people have to, you know, wrap and, and touch, especially in this environment. I understand that our fire, tribal uh, updates are going on, so tribal leaders and family group leaders 
uh, I think that ends. Uh, they're due by Friday. Please contact Sister Johnson here at the office or email at members at sanctlochristianchurch.org. All of the updated information by way of address and location of those who are on our roll. Membership update season. If you haven't been contacted, please contact your family group leader, your tribal leader, and vice versa. And let's get new information in. We're also accepting applications for Angel Tree for ages infant to 12 years old, as we do every year. Um, bring that to your congregational care office, or you get that application from your congregational care office. You know, we have a, a short list now, so if you want an angel, if you want to represent and sponsor St. Luke, you've been so, um, I can, there are no words for it what you do this time of year to help young people, help children, help families who may not otherwise not have anything for for Christmas. You go out of your way. You've been doing it for years, and I'm so thankful. And that's why I believe so many are so blessed, because you have the heart of Christ. You have the heart of Christ. You give, and you give, and you give again. And I'm so blessed to be to be your pastor. We bless so many homes. And we're not doing it for a reputation in the community. We're doing it to be a blessing to to those family. And God gets the glory uh, for that. So in addition to bringing your uh, gifts uh, for those children, I want you to think of a Bible verse, find a Bible verse, a Bible passage that you want to pass on to that family and those children as well. If you will do that, put that in an envelope or in a card or whatever. Put in an envelope that passes that you'll write it out, and, and we're going to give that to uh, the family as well. So I added that. That's not something you've always done. But this year, put something else, you know, um, uh, 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 some words, some word that lifts you up, word that encourages you, word that you stand on, word that bought you through, bought you out, amen, keeps you strong. But share that word with that gift this year that you go out and buy. You choose it, and we want to make sure that it goes to the family uh, that you're blessing. Amen. Now, our sick and our shut-in, our those who are on the list, be sure to pray for Deacon Robert Washington. He went through a procedure on yesterday. He was in a lot of pain this morning when I talked with him. A little bit keep him in prayer. Don't call him right now. Too many of you let him let him rest a while. He just went through a procedure. Um, but what you can do, you can call the Lord and pray for uh, my brother, my fishing partner. Amen. Amen. Take ask the Lord to take care of him. Uh, we are we are so thankful uh, for um, Brother Washington. Sister Washington's taking good care of him and bossing him around. She probably won't let him have a phone for a while. Anyway. Brother Mingo Ponder, keep him in prayer. Uh, Sister Cara Thompson, Cara Thompson, uh, Mother DeVance, um, uh, keep our seniors in prayer. Sister Sheila Rashid, we're going to get an update to you on Sister Rashid. Sister Loretta Malone of um, the state of Ohio um, talked to her husband the other day, and she's hanging in there. He thanks you all for praying for his wife. Loretta Mahone, keep Sister Willie Ellison in prayer, um, Mother Foreman in prayer, Joselle Foreman in prayer, Sister Wanda Jackson and Natasha Jackson, keep them in prayer as as well. And if there are others, make sure you get it to our um, congregational care so that we can put them on the prayer list as well. I one brother Derek um, Hunt who lost a brother last week and they celebrated his life on Saturday. I mean, just wanted to say thank all of you for the calls and all the things. Thank you, Saint Luke, for being a family, for being a true family to do the things that families should do when we are uh, struggling, we encounter traumatic situations. I thank God for you. Keep brother um, Sister Veronica Rice. Her dad and the kid, brother kid, in prayer. Keep um, also the Jacksons, brother Jackson and mother Bertha Jackson. You keep them in prayer 
as well in our Mount Olive family. They enjoy you all so much and are encouraged by us participating and trying to uh, give them opportunity for restart. Amen. Amen. If you have announcements, make sure you get them into the office in time for us to publish those announcements. This is Pastor Johnson. We're at the St. Luke Christian Church. You be blessed.